Hello, and welcome to this video covering the Affordable Application User Guide. The guide can be found on our website at fhlbtopeka.com forward slash AHP. Here's our home screen. Once here, you can select the Application tab. And here is the Application User Guide. The AHP Application User Guide is a detailed step-by-step -step guide that walks users through the entire application process, from initiating the application and completing each screen in the application, to submitting the application by both the sponsor and the member. There are a lot of pages, but don't be daunted by that, as most of the pages have large pictures of the screens in the application to help users complete the application. This video will also help cover the various sections of the guide. First, we have the table of contents. It provides a quick summary of the sections of the guide and will identify the page numbers to help you navigate the document. Clicking on the different sections on the table of contents will help navigate to that specific section. You can also enter control F and use the find function to help find something specific you are looking for. From pages, Seven to page 14, the guide covers the initiation of an application. After initiation, the application will be created and the lead contact and or input contact can complete the rest of the sections of the application. Broadly speaking, there are three main sections. General application information is covered on pages 17 through 25. Scoring is shown on pages 26 through 41 and feasibility is on pages 42 through 55 for owner-occupied projects or pages 56 through 68 for rental. Let's talk a little bit more about the scoring portion of the guide. On page 26, it shows all of the applicable scoring commitments available for the AHP applications. There is a maximum total points possible of 100 points. However, no one project will likely ever receive points for all 100 points. Each application, however, should try to include as many commitments as possible to make a competitive application. Also, it is very important that you select each commitment that your project will be able to obtain. For example, if you do not select in district under the FHL Bank Priorities Commitment, but your project will be in FHL Bank Topeka's four state district, you won't earn those points and your application will be less competitive. It is important to review and understand each commitment to make sure you're making the most accurate and competitive application. If a commitment goes unselected, then you will not earn those points, even if in reality, your project would meet the requirements for that commitment. Pages 27 through 28 goes over the donated property commitment. At the bottom of the two pages are the AHP definition of donated property and the documentation requirements. The pages also go over uploading the required documentation into AHP Online. Pages 29 through 32 cover the sponsorship by a not-for-profit not organization or government entity. There are pages specific to rental projects and homeownership projects. At the bottom of pages 30 and 32, it goes over the different documentation requirements for each type of project. You can also watch the project ownership chart training video if you have additional questions on what is needed for this commitment. Page 33 covers the home purchased by low or moderate income households. This would be for applications that will support the financing of home purchases. Documentation is not required to be provided on this screen. Pages 34 and 35 cover the income targeting commitments for rental and homeownership projects. Documentation is not required to be provided on these screens. However, be sure to enter a zero for any targeting categories for which no units are targeted. The fields cannot be left blank. Page 36 covers the underserved communities and populations commitment. The categories included in this commitment is housing for homeless households, special needs populations, housing for other targeted populations, and rental housing for extremely low income households. Some of the categories will require additional information be entered after selecting that specific category. Pages 37 and 38 cover the creating economic opportunity commitments for rental and homeownership projects. 
At the bottom of the pages is the different documentation requirements for each category included in this commitment. The Memorandum of Understanding on FHL Bank's website is required for some of these categories. Please watch the Memorandum of Understanding training video on where to find and how to complete the MOU. Pages 39 and 40 cover the Community Stability Commitment for Rental and Homeownership Projects. At the bottom of each page is the documentation requirements. Again, the Memorandum of Understanding will be used for some of this, these commitments. So the MOU training video would be beneficial to watch. And finally, on page 41, the FHL Bank priority commitments are listed. Additional fields will display for some of the individual categories. Also, some of them will require documentation. The documentation requirements are at the bottom of the page. After following the guide to complete the application series, the lead contact will be ready to approve the application as the sponsor. The guide covers this on page 69. And then after the sponsor approval, the application needs to be submitted by the member. And again, the guide walks through the steps for that for the member to complete on page 72. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you join us in our other videos for more information regarding this year's affordable housing program funding round. Please review the links in the video description below for links to our application forms and to our website.